Good afternoon, everybody. Tyler and Sam here, and we're back with another ice fishing episode for you. You guys have seen us starting off the ice fishing season above 10K. So right now we're below 10K at about 9,700 feet, fishing on a lake, and we have about eight inches of ice to fish on. We've already been out scouting, of course, and we drilled a couple holes, and we're gonna be fishing at our deepest point so far in the season. We're at about 17 feet. There's a wide variety of species in this lake, guys. There's brook trout, there's brown trout, there's rainbow trout, there's cutboat trout, and there's white sucker too. I'd be happy to get some white sucker. We're really excited to get those on the team because we keep those for lake trout bait. Another exciting thing for today, guys, is an announcement for some brand new gear that we got. Me and Sam finally got some bib outfits. Yes. So here's Sam's. She's wearing the Eskimo Keeper bib, the women's, yes. right? I got the Eskimo Superior bib. This isn't probably the best testing day as far as testing the limits of these things because it's about 35 degrees out and it's pretty comfortable and we're in the sun. Yeah. But here coming up in the next few weeks, we're planning on really venturing out for you guys, getting to some brand new lakes across the state. All right. Got some big plans for that. And we also got some big plans to get some big hikes in to get into some really, really big trout. Big marking point for us guys is when these lakes do start freezing up below 10K up here on the Mesa. Because then we know that those lakes that we want to get to, which are above 10K that have some of these really big trout in them, mm -hmm. that's when we know that they're safe to ice fish. Because we don't want to hike miles and miles back in there, right. get back in there and it's really sketchy ice or we can't ice fish it at all. Mm -hmm. That would be terrible. So we like to make sure that we have a good safe call when we do that hike, and or those hikes I should say. And we'll be getting into those soon. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of that content that we have coming out for you. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we've talked enough already. Let's yeah. get into some fishing. Starting off with a Titan Tungsten Jig, Rose Gold. Got a wax worm on there. Ooh. Got one. Nice. That was fast. Sheesh. Little bow. Jeez, I dropped that down. He just gunned it from the bottom right up for it. First fish of the day. Nice. Nice little rainbow. Hopefully you can get some bigger ones. Yeah, hopefully so. Get him back in. Got one. This one seems decent. It's fighting hard. Oh, yeah, it's a respectable bow. Gorgeous bows. All right, guys, it's gonna be using the Glow Swedish Pimple with two wax worms on it. Ooh. Yep, got him. Yep. <laughs> nice, pretty rainbows. There he goes. All right, guys, so as we said, we're using wax worms today. And this is how I like to rig mine up, all right? Definitely a bunch of different ways you can do it, different types of little wormy live baits, but I like to do my mini Ned rig presentation, okay? I got the tungsten jig right here. This one isn't the prettiest, but it still works fine. All right, I like to slide it through the back end, have it come out right near the front. This was a pretty small wax worm. That way we have the bottom head part right here, still fo poking out. Gives that a little bit of a color difference there. And I like to jig that around. That's my go-to way to hook up a wax worm, guys. Like I said, there's a couple different ways you can do it, but this is my go-to way to get trout, and I feel like this way works the best for me. So if you guys haven't tried it this way, try it out and let me know how it goes. Oh, oh. Got it. He uh, came back for it. Happy to be getting him. Hoping to get in some other species here soon. Oh. Barely nipping at it. Oh man. There's a lot of noise going on now too. It's hard to see. Oh, got him. Yes. <laughs> yep, got it. Little guy. Little bow. More little bows. Got it. It's a decent bow. Oh, swam right out. 
Here's the bows in here, guys. Most of these bows, they don't really got the big, pretty dots like a lot of the other ones do at about the 10K lakes. It's kind of got that plain look to them. Still pretty fish, though. Oh. All right, so far so good with this mid-afternoon bite we decided to hit today. It's nice to just take a second and admire the gorgeous scenery. It's a beautiful lake over here. As you can see, a lot of holes. People have been fishing this one quite a bit. It's one of the easier to access lakes up here. Got some people over there taking pictures over there on the ice. But yeah, good times. Let's go see what Sam's up to. So how are you liking the bib so far? So far, it's really nice. But I'm super warm just sitting on the ice. It's really nice. Yeah, guys, we've just been sitting on the ice. Sam's just going Indian style here, cross-legged. <laughs> I've been on my knees the whole time. They got that float assist stuff built into the legs here and they got a big part of it right here on the knees. So it's like a giant knee pad. It's like you're on pillows. Yep. More bows, you guys, more bows. A nicer looking rainbow. I love it. Whoops. Little bow. Little bow. Nice. <laughs> I didn't know I could feel like that. Yep. That was off the bottom too. Ah, oh, it's another bow. No, it's certainly the smallest bow of the day. <laughs> So for those of you that don't use electronics like we are for ice fishing, sometimes it's not really about switching up your uh, bait, it's about switching up that depth. Marking most of our fish in between 8 to 12, a couple even shallower than that. And as the afternoons progress and we're getting closer to the evening and sunset, we are getting our fish off the bottom now. We got one. Lots of rainbows today, hoping we can get another species before we get out of here. See you, buddy. Got him. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> A little fast release action for you guys. Got one. Rainbows. Looks all mangled up over here. Probably was caught before. Got one. Double ups. Double ups. Well, that's a really turquoise looking one. Really nice and blue. Like that ocean blue. Kind of greenish. Sweet looking fish. All right, little double up release underwater. That was a fun afternoon of fishing. Yeah, definitely. We couldn't get into the multiple species that are in this lake, just nothing but a whole bunch of rainbows. Yeah. But it was still a really fun active bite, so we can't complain that much. Lots of fun pulling stuff in on a wide variety of presentations using the wax worms. If you guys haven't used wax worms before when you're targeting trout, definitely try them out. And if you do use wax worms when you go for trout and you haven't tried rigging up the way that I do it, try that and see how that works. See if you get a difference in your bite or if it's the same thing. But it was a really beautiful day, really awesome time testing out these new bib outfit waders from Eskimo. Yeah, I only wore um, leggings today and I usually get really cold and I was nice and toasty all day. Yeah, I was pretty warm too. So we're gonna be testing this stuff out, doing some hikes, doing some other stuff like we mentioned in the intro. But until that time, guys, Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Hope you guys have been enjoying the ice content. Make sure you guys hit the like button if you guys are enjoying the videos. And make sure you subscribe if you're new. Until next time, guys. Team Cough signing out. Bye.